It's hard to believe that summer is pretty much over here in Alberta. Well, I guess everywhere. It's all pretty much the same time zone. It's not been that big of a deal as far as our weather being not so great around here for us because I think it was a <coughs> good opportunity for us to not complain about the fact that we worked all summer, including both the long weekends for most of us, the August, uh, well, both the main ones, the August and the September. Uh, Brad Ward here, Ward's Auctions, and it is time for another walkthrough video for the September 22nd, 2019 Consignment Estate Collectibles Auction. Uh, we are also cataloging right now for Thanksgiving Monday, our annual Thanksgiving Day sale, and that's on October 14th, because uh, this is Canada, for those of you watching uh, in other parts of the world. So our Thanksgiving is October 14th. So we are cataloging for that sale, and you'll see stuff on that on the website right away, which is wardsauctions.com. Let's have a look at this sale. We've got mink, uh, mink coat here. I forget what this one is, but there's beaver in there. And... Uh, Nice little pieces there, nice little piece of Canadiana. There's modern furniture in the sale as well. Uh, so, and, and some of it is for, from show homes. I can't say for sure if this one is, but some of it's from show homes, from Sterling and uh, Qualico, I guess it would be. And uh, so watch for that sort of thing. We have original artwork, some nice pieces. This is an awesome mission or arts and crafts wall clock and in un, unmolested condition. There's four or even five of these Goddard a Giclés. This is one of the bigger ones, if not the bigger of the say, of the lot. So there, you know, there are some smaller ones as well, and those are interesting uh, limited edition pieces, I would imagine. Modern mission style pieces, again modern. This one is out of the uh, real piece of real estate that we have for sale in Saint Albert right now, which you can find on the website too. You can link from our auction website, and you can also go to Brad Ward. Dot com. A uh, little condo in St. Albert, townhouse, uh, 26 White Oaks. So some furniture that they couldn't move into their new place because they're downsizing. And again, some artworks back there. Canadiana. We emptied out a couple of very significant places in the last little while. And we also got, which we'll touch on later on when we get into the back room, uh, quite a shipment of stuff from Yellowknife. Uh, here's some Canadiana. This is an awesome little multi-drawer piece and you're gonna say but Brad there's a drawer missing and you're only partially right. The drawer's actually there. The front of the drawer is missing though. But there's a nice little project to hone your your skills and you only have to make a drawer front and match the color. So otherwise a great little piece there. More modern stuff in the corner there. Uh, this is the straight up Ikea TV cabinet. You know, it doesn't get more modern than that. Traditional style, this is not an antique Regency style set. It's a Regency style, uh, but a modern one with eight chairs, including two armchairs. More Canadiana there. Pump organ here, which actually quite works. I'm not gonna pretend that I can play it, but it does work. These are great. These are fantastic. There's two of these. Uh, these have a Trevor Brown uh, upholstery tag on the bottom. You'll see it online. You'll see a photograph, 54. So I assume that means they were reupholstered by them because I don't think they retailed stuff there. I mean, that shop is not far from us here and been around Edmonton. It's been a, a, a furniture staple for years. So I assume they reupholstered them, but they look like factory upholstery. Just, just They just look fantastic. Uh, I skimmed over a, a, a Danish tea, uh, tea dining set back there that I meant to mention and I was rambling on. Uh, but here's another one. So the, the table itself, um, we're pretty sure is a JL Moeller Model 80. Uh, the, the chairs, I should say, um, for that. And that's 138. The table is something different. But have a look in the catalog. Again, 138 in your catalog. Arthur Pagano gingerbread clock, chiming gingerbread clock. You can see it ticking away here. A couple of small bronzes. English oak, original finish, quarter cut oak piece here. I want to kind of point out this reel-to-reel -reel recorder. We haven't tried it yet. Ampex reel-to-reel, -reel, and there's actually the lot after this is some factory reel-to-reel -reel tapes, including some jazz and whatnot. Not homemade ones, but factory ones. It's lot number 200. We will try to make time to test it before the before the viewing, uh, but that's only a couple of days away, and we're still dot knives like crazy around here. A couple of great Regency or. Uh, Empire pieces here. This has actually got curved glass, 90 degree corners inside here. Original finish, matching sideboard here, flame mahogany. But I've never seen, I've seen lots of curved glass china cabinet doors, but I've never seen one where it's literally a 90 degree corner like that. 
This is a, a, a duplicator, again, great for office display. The sectional that's in front of me here is from the show home as well. And I think two or three of the sections pop up so you can rest your head and whatnot. And it's nice and clean. I mean, they don't, they're in a show home. They're not getting, you know, people sit on them periodically, but that's pretty much kind of where it ends. This is a, uh, is it the Leather Ranch? Yeah, the Leather Ranch. This would have been the bee's knees. Well, it still is the bee's knees. It's a size medium, but it surprises me because it kind of fits my fat self. And I thought, well, that's because I'm kind of more a larger guy. No, I'm not larger by any means, but, but when it comes to clothes. Now, it does have a little trouble getting around my... my I don't want to screw up the microphone too badly. So it's snug. It's snug around there, but it's only a medium. So what a great piece, though. Oh, and you can see the back of it. It's got conches on it, all the leather work. Very, very impressive piece. This would have been a pretty star piece in its day. There is an unusually large selection of... 100% wool rugs and runners in, in mostly, if not all, fantastic condition. Look at the vibrant colors on this one. Lot number 75 in your catalog. Stephen's done great, great pictures of them, so you can get some, uh, some close-up views on the website. So I encourage you to take an advantage. Take advantage of the photographs that, uh, like I say, he's put a lot of effort into, into putting on there. This is interesting in that these ice cream parlor chairs, clearly original and awesome, with oak seats, and this equally fantastic ice cream parlor quarter cut oak top table came from two different houses. Now what are the chances? Yes, I mean, you know, the chances are that they're going to come in from two different houses, but for the same auction. So here's an opportunity. That's why they're lotted separately. Here's an opportunity to, to pick up a set um, in one auction. The tabletop has obviously been refinished. It would have been a darker color originally. The vintage G.I. Joes, full-size G.I. Joes. Here we got the, the, the diver. His lead shoes are still there. A lot of his accessories are still there. I'm not going to pretend they're all there. That would be a misnomer. Um, We've got a guy with snowshoes and shorts on. I'm not so sure about that, but the uh, safari guy. Fire suit, space guy. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest with you. Um, but we do have traditional. We have the space guy. I definitely want to cover him with his capsule. Again, just look at the pictures on the website to really see what you have going on. And then this guy's got the, uh, the, uh, the not the jet back, but the copter back. Pack. That's just so cool. It just it doesn't get any better than that. Along here, Royal Dalton figurines, soapstones, Mosier glass, stuff, more soapstones down here. Just an awesome little selection of, of vintage Canadiana and of uh, English pieces. Again, modern, right? Remember we talked about show homes and so on? So we got some modern pieces. This front cabinet right here is actually all October. We talked about October. So there is some. Um, some pieces that we're, well, there's a lot of pieces we've already cataloged, but we're a little bit, we're just behind because we've been so busy. I have an apothecary box. This is, it's nothing like this one. This is the most amazing apothecary box I've ever seen and uh, with, with a multitude of bottles. That's going to be 322, but in October. You won't see that on the website yet, but you might see some promotionals inside um, on our Facebook. So follow our Facebook. Follow both of them. We have two. One of them for regular sales, or one of them for any sale that isn't firearms, and then another one for firearms. More modern stuff. These two in front of me here, these French provincial style, um, for lack of a better term, those are Ethan Allen. So it doesn't get much better than that as far as quality goes. Uh, nice leaded modern, but leaded glass table, or, uh, table lamp here. A couple of saddles, and again, the saddles came from, from Yellowknife too. I want to show you that a couple of, this is a, a, a tea wagon that is a little different. I've never seen one that does this. And I, I've been around a long time doing this since I was a kid, but here it is, lever operated drop leaves. I've never seen that before. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me that, oh yeah, they've seen a hundred of them, and that's fine. Um, just because I've never seen one doesn't mean that they haven't been around. But I, you know, been doing this since I was a kid, family business, right? Another uh, one that has some activity to it, the Barley Twist Games Table. So it's got a galley this side. So normally it would, you'd have up against this, this side would go against the wall because it's got a galley. But then you got your friends over, 
you give it a rotation, flip it over, and now you got your games table, play poker or canasta, or whatever it is that you would like to play. Primitives, lots of primitives. There's actually a bit of a selection of, of stripped furniture. I'm going to say it came from a house in, in Edmonton. That was an Edmonton one. Um, yeah, because I don't think any furniture came from, uh, other than a few pieces came from Yellow Knight. So furniture. So obviously they were going to refinish it and, and uh, got so far as stripping it. And now so they're kind of ready for you to, to work on. Um, Jerry Dole painting here. There's a Weber. Uh, Chandler. Some native pieces. Another Goddard over there. Another show home high boy over there. A nice Art Deco high boy and vanity and, and stool. Uh, it'll all be one lot too, 341. And uh, so again, nice piece there. Don't need that sitting on there. Primitives as well, again, some leaded glass panels, a little bit of sterling silver in there, some daguerreotype pictures, dinky toys, a nice little selection of dinky toys, uh, miniature kettles and so on, military dinkies, little thing of knives. So quite a nice selection in there. And of course, we have the smalls room. Start, we'll start off with some jewelry. We have another selection of, of pocket watches in the sale. I think we probably have 20 or 30, and they're well described when they come from, from the one regular consigner, uh, and he, he knows his stuff. So he gives us nice descriptions. It tells, them if the, it tells us if they're working. Well, we know if they're working because we wind them, uh, but that is not a guarantee. It just means if it says working at time of cataloging, then that's it. It doesn't mean anything. It, you're still buying a, a watch. Uh, we also have uh, the guy, his, his repair guy's name, if you need uh, some help with there. Uh, some other jewelry and lots of appraisals. We've got a binder full of appraisals if, or the jewelry. Alexandrite pendant here with, with earrings. I think it might be two different lots, but those are Alexandrite, I believe. Uh, blue diamond, ha uh, one carat earrings. Um, should have done a little bit of research here. Some vintage pieces here. There's a nice fob being used as a, as a pendant which is awesome. Some pearls, diamonds, diamonds, semi-precious, like a tennis bracelet there. The list kind of goes on and on. And then not to mention all the stuff that we haven't even taken out of the cabinets, including more watches. There's Haida pieces. In fact, this Haida piece up top here, let me just bug the cameraman again. Uh, this one is not marked, but we tested it as gold. It comes out as 14 karat gold, and it's a nice Haida piece. And then there's some other Haida pieces that are still inside the cabinet, which is a little unusual. We don't see a lot of that. Little tray of, of sewing bits and bobs and little tiny caskets there, little vitrines and a little shell. Lots of really neat tray lots in the sale. There's some vintage Barbies. Uh, I don't know much about Barbies, but there are some vintage Barbies. And so I'm sure her and G.I. Joe had their moment in the 60s. There's just no way they didn't. Lots of primitives. Remember I mentioned about um, the container or the, the, the shipment that came down from Yellowknife. Uh, it's going to be a while that we're going to be working through that. There's literally a 53-foot tractor unit came down uh, with all palletized collectibles. So virtually no furniture. I, I don't think, I can't even think if there was any furniture. There was a couple pieces of equipment and then all pallets of smalls. Uh, lots of primitive sad irons, lamps, um, uh, the saddles, traps. We're gonna get into some of that. So you're gonna be, be able to watch for that stuff coming along as we go. Uh, again, we just had a little bit too much already in the sale, uh, too much in the building. So not a lot of it got into this sale. Two of the lots that did get into this sale, uh, one of them is this traps here. There's the usual, here's your gopher traps and whatnot, and then you get some bigger ones. But there's also a lot of unusual ones, like this one here. I consider that to be a bit unusual. I consider this one to be a bit unusual. It's got teeth at both ends. Not even sure how it all operates. I'm not gonna start messing with it while the camera's rolling either. That's the sort of stuff that came from Yellowknife and literally 20 or 24 pallets worth. Here's a fun one here, um, because again, as much as there's a gajillion sad irons in that trailer load, they're not all just regular stuff. You got some unusual stuff here. Some definitely some unusual stuff in his, you know, for, is it for doing pleats or whatever? I'm not exactly sure. Just when you put the, the heated rod inside there. And again, for doing your clothing and this, is a, you heat it up and that's for ironing your gloves, your long gloves, probably not leather, you wouldn't do it for the leather, but your silk gloves and so on. And that's an iron for that. Like how neat 
How neat is that? There's a million pieces of Alta glass. Maybe not a million. Maybe it's only a half a million, but there's a lot of pieces of Alta glass in the sale. More show home furniture here. Um, beds, table. Have a look at that table because one end does come out to to put a leaf, and then it's like a jackknife leaf inside. One of the last things that we cataloged for the sale also came from, from Yellowknife, and it was helmets and military hats. We didn't have the chance to properly research them, so we were pretty vague on our descriptions. So have a good look at the photos, come and have a look. Um, and then for those that are bidding online that don't get a live viewing, make sure you're bidding on what you see. Don't assume anything. Make sure that if you're comfortable with what you are bidding on. These are both carvings from the same person, extremely well executed as far as I'm concerned. And then they are both signed or initialed on the back, RMW. They were kind of last to get cataloged too, so didn't, didn't learn a lot about the carver, but definitely has some skills. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Another tr uh, selection of traps. Yes, there's some of your basic beaver, not beaver, but uh, you know, gopher type traps, whatever, but then also some unusual stuff, which is what you like to see. And again, more interesting tray lots, fun tray lots, not just the usual stuff. There's an interesting transit. They're fun to have just in the office. Vintage padlocks, see here? Again, they came from Yellowknife, if I'm not mistaken, and the keys and so on. Didn't match up necessarily keys to, to locks, I'm not gonna lie to you there. Oil lamps, grates, more, to more toys and so on. More military that came from Yellowknife. This happens to be a size seven and three eighths, which is exactly my hat size. So I think I should buy this for role playing night. Seems like it would be the right thing to do. Fits like a glove, which is weird because it's a hat. Scales, uh, you know, I could go on and on and on. Uh, we're not doing an online session this time because we're using that room that we'd normally do for the online sale for cataloging Thanksgiving. So we're just running out of space at the moment. Uh, and I think I've been rambling on a little bit too long already now. So the sale, let's just rehash. The sale is in our facility, Edmonton, Alberta. So 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. Well labeled, it's right on the corner. Ward's Auctions is the building and wardsauctions.com is the website. Online bidding has already started. You can link from our, from our website or at least the registration has already started. Um, by the time you're seeing this video, catalogs on the website for downloading, plus we'll have them available to buy. Um, you download it and print it yourself, use your own ink or whatever. The, the sale, the viewing is Friday the 20th of September 2019 from four o'clock until eight o'clock. That's the best time to come. Kick all the tires, open all the doors, do whatever it is you need to do, and, uh, and then really make your decisions on what you wanna buy. And then the sale is on Sunday. We'll swing the doors at nine o'clock. Sale will start at 10 o'clock. That's on September 22nd, 2019, uh, just in case we're in the future. And then of course, remember that we are cataloging for October 14th at the same time. The office number is 780-451-4549. My name is Brad Ward. I think I've covered everything. Feel free to call if you have any questions, but more, more, most importantly, come to the sale. Thanks for watching.